So with the most recent update to Cold War and Warzone, they had a new event called the Rebirth Event. Basically what happens is once you complete all these 16 different challenges, you unlock a variant for your Craig. This variant is called the Hazardous. I'm going to give you guys some tips today on how to unlock this variant real quickly and make sure you're using your time efficiently and to get it unlocked as quickly as possible. You have 17 days, but honestly, it's taking no longer than a day or two. Now, the challenges go as follow. Pilot a vehicle for 20 minutes on Rebirth Island. Complete any 30 contracts on Rebirth Island. Buy 30 kill streaks. Open 100 crates on Rebirth Island. Collect 200 pals of plunder from the ground on Rebirth Island. Collect your loadout 20 times on Rebirth Island. Place in the top 30% 5 times on Rebirth Island. Get 30 kills with a common weapon on Rebirth Island. Get 30 kills with a legendary weapon on Rebirth Island. Get 2 kills or assists in a vehicle on Rebirth Island. Destroy 1 vehicle carrying enemies on Rebirth Island. Use 50 armor plates on Rebirth Island. Place in the top 30% 15 times on Rebirth Island. Place in the top 30% 30 times on Rebirth Island. Get a kill before the first circle closes one time on Rebirth Island. Kill 100 downed enemies on Rebirth Island. Now, a lot of these challenges you're gonna get done naturally as you play the game and it's gonna, gonna happen. I'm gonna give you guys tips on how to complete the challenges that are hard that you have to go out of your way to complete. Now, for the wins slash crate opens, you'll get this done naturally over time. This play bit slow if you're struggling with a top 30% challenge. For the crates, just loot up all the buildings you find and literally loot up every single building whenever you can. And it'll be done quickly when you're doing the other challenges. So don't worry about this one, it'll be done naturally, but also make sure you're always playing slow if in or near the top 30%. And for the crates, just loot up every single building you can find. Now, tips for driving vehicles for 20 minutes. Grab a helicopter and fly to the edge of a storm. If somebody has already taken a helicopter, might as well just grab an SUV or a rover and just drive around the map. Avoid gunfights at all costs and just bang out this challenge and get it over with. Now, while you're driving around with the vehicles, try to grab two kills really quickly. Just run people over whether it was the helicopter or the rover or the SUV, just run people over, get it over with, get two kills. Now for contracts, you have to complete 30 contracts on Rebirth Island. What you're gonna wanna do is just grab scavengers. Scavengers are a lot quicker to complete because the map is so freaking small. What you're gonna wanna do is look around the map for scavengers and let's land on them, bang them out real quick, work onto the next one. And avoid bounties, honestly, because bounties are really risky. A lot of times you can get the kill stolen, a lot of times you could die yourself. Scavengers, you can respawn and just grab it. Uh, supply runs are not bad either, honestly, but scavengers, I feel like, is the best way to go. Flags, also kind of not really worth it, so I wouldn't even bother with that. Now, tips for getting kill streaks. What you're gonna wanna do is to save your money and avoid dying. Once a fire sale happens, go ahead and buy all the kill streaks you can. Buy cluster strikes, buy precisions, buy UAVs. My recommended one is buying cluster strikes because it's only 3,000 instead of 4,000. Now, Every single game, the fire sales do happen, so just wait it out until the fire sale happens and just spam by UAVs or precisions or clusters. Because it's a fire sale, it'll only cost $600 to buy cluster strikes instead of $3,000, which means you can literally buy five instead of one. So what you're gonna do is just save your money, wait it out, be patient, and don't die. And if the fire sale has already happened and you still have a lot of money left over, just buy your normal UAVs and those just count because you don't respawn the money once the game starts the second time. Now, for the challenge to equip your loadout 20 times on Rebirth Island, what you're gonna wanna do is just, is either A, just buy the loadout yourselves as you're playing the game and looting up and have a lot of money. Just buy it yourself. I don't recommend that, however, if you have not yet completed the Scorch Creek one. I'll just knock out the Scorch Creek one first, get it out of the way, get it off your plate. But say you're in a vehicle, say you're in a Jeep or SUV or a Rover or whatever, just go ahead, if you see the loadout spawn in, just go to it, grab it real quick, and go back in your car. Don't waste your time trying to buy it too many times. This literally, it spawns in every single game around the first storm. Just go ahead and go grab it real quick. And if you die and respawn, you can grab it as well. And that will count. So say you grab your loadout the first time, you kill yourself or if you die, respawn, go ahead, grab it again. That'll count as two. Again, same thing over and over. And obviously the maximum is five times because you only have five lives in Rebirth Island. Now for common open kills, this challenge actually maybe is pretty hard to be honest because there's so much ground loot now in the game that there's so many different variants that you can't find common weapons that easily. Personally, I've only found four different common weapons on the ground. There might be more, but again, I just got super unlucky and couldn't find them besides these four weapons. I found the Dimedi, the Pellington, the FFAR, and the RPD. Um, this challenge is really hard, honestly, because again, it's so random and it's hard to find these yourself. And honestly, don't waste your time. If you find the Dimedi or a Pellington, I wouldn't even bother with it because those weapons are not that good and the odds are gonna die. So I just picked those up in the meantime and just keep running around, keep looting and trying to find the RPD or the FFAR. And just because those guns are really overpowered and even if they are, even if they are a little bit harder to find, 
Um, it is better because you can actually get a lot more kills if you're good at the game because you have actual good weapons. Palington, Demetti, it's a pistol and a sniper. You know, your odds are just not in your favor. So I wouldn't even bother with that. And yes, have your teammate mark for you common weapons and have them help you out and like find kills for you, stun people enemies for you, whatever. It's better if you're in a party. For the legendary kills, you gotta get 50 kills with legendary weapons. Or sorry, 30 kills with legendary weapons. Now, legendary weapons are ones that are marked as gold and have five attachments. There's a lot of solid weapons are in the map that you can find. It's e it's literally easier somehow to find epic weapons than it is to find common weapons. So it won't be too hard. Again, just don't waste your time. Don't pick up a sniper or a pistol. Just go ahead and grab SMGs, ARs, LMGs. Those ones are definitely the way to go, so you can knock those out real quick. But yeah, because these weapons are because this challenge is so RNG based and you have to like look for these weapons, you can't like just buy it yourself. It is pretty difficult and kind of frustrating at times. But be patient, you'll get it done. Don't worry, it's only 30 kills. Let's be sure whenever you pick up your guns, the common or the legendary one, just play slow, don't rush too much. Don't get too aggressive, the kills will come naturally. Now, for destroying one vehicle while carrying an enemy in Rebirth Island, it's kind of hard. Basically, you have to get a destroy on a chopper, rover, or SUV, ATV, whatever, while the enemy is still on it. They cannot jump off it, that will not count. It's pretty hard to get a kill and destroy a vehicle at the same time with a Semtex or a Thermite, because odds are the enemy's going to notice them really quickly and they'll drop off because they have a 5 second delay before the vehicle gets destroyed. The best way to go is to grab an RPG off the ground, or a Joker, or a Pilo, whatever, those all count, those all work. Grab one of those off the ground. If you have a Pilo or a Joker, look into the sky, see if there's any helicopters that are active. Because there's only two helicopter spawns, people usually grab them and like fly around the map for a long time. So look in the air, try to grab them. And a lot of times people don't realize this, but helicopters have flares. But a lot of enemies don't realize that, so you can easily get a destroy with the pilot or the joker. But if you don't have luck with the helicopters, literally just go ahead go ahead and walk around with the RPG or the pilot on your character and look for vehicles. Because the RPG and the pilot and all those are just one hits, it's pretty easy to knock them out real quick. And for the pilot, don't wait for it to lock on. If a vehicle is close to you and you can hit it yourself without locking on, it's better off that way. Because the enemy's going to be seeing that it's locking on, so they can get out of the car. But if you pilot, if you just don't lock on and instantly shoot it, you'll be good to go. It'll get that real quick. But yeah, this is the, some background gameplay showing you guys the Krig variant. It's called the Hazardous. Super solid variant. It looks really clean. And yeah, I recommend you guys go for this challenge yourselves. It's not too hard to get. It's a lot of time consuming at, at points, but literally just knock it out and you'll get this variant. From when this video is being posted, you have 17 days. It's around January 2nd or 3rd, I believe. So go for this challenge, knock it out. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to the like button and the subscribe button if you're into the channel. And hit those post notifications to see some more videos about Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed, see you in the next video, and peace out.